Hi there, welcome to Steve's Tech Log again. Today I want to share with you my experience about using a LED TV, a standard LED TV, as a monitor for my computer. I have been using my old LCD monitor, which is a 21 inch monitor for the last 6 or 7 years. It's a 21 inch monitor with a max resolution about 1600 times 1400. Now, um, with so many applications um, needing a lot more functions, that small display hasn't been working out for me because uh, there's just not enough of real estate to show all the functions in uh, software applications. So I have um, taken my home 32-inch LED TV, which, a, which is a budget Samsung LED TV. Um, and frankly speaking, the 32-inch LED TV is actually cheaper price than a standard 24-inch monitor that I can buy outside. The price difference is quite a lot. So let me first start by booting my computer onto my TV as the main display. So the television is connected to the computer via a single HDMI cable. Um, to actually use this, you obviously need a HDMI port on your motherboard or a PC. Now, um, so it's just gone to the login screen. I'll log in right now. Give me a second. And here I have logged into my desktop. Now, when I first connected my PC to the television, the first thing I noticed is that the desktop appears a little bit truncated so um, if I move my mouse I hope you can see my mouse and the taskbar as well as the desktop has uh, sort of like maybe a 10% truncation towards the edge of all edges the picture however looks uh, quite gorgeous uh, very nice colors and of course this is a 32 inch uh, television so the screen is basically huge it's a 1080p uh, 1080p screen of uh, 1920 times 1080 resolution. Now the first thing I uh, have done uh, to actually scale the desktop to fit into screen and most televisions you can actually set this. So if you take your remote control and I have it right here. Go to menu. It's usually in the picture setting. So uh, of course I've done this before so I'm just going to show you. So if I go in the picture and I scroll down and go to, in my Samsung TV, it's uh, the menu item called picture size. So if I select picture size and standard resolution or uh, ratio is 16 by 9. So if I select that, I can try a few options. There's wide zoom, uh, doesn't work. Zoom, so it's even more zoomed in. 4 by 3, which doesn't work. And the one that I want to get to is called screen feed. So it actually feeds my entire desktop onto the television screen. So this is exactly what I want. So I'm going to select this. Okay. And which is fine. Now there is another setting that uh, could be of use. One of the things that many people um, prefer not to use a television as a monitor is because the refresh rates of a television is actually much uh, inferior than a uh, uh, like a standard LED LCD monitor and that's why um, the television costs a lot cheaper I mean although the screen is bigger the resolution is higher so I have a 1080p screen here all right um, it's because the processor is actually slower um, and the capability of the display is actually lower so the refresh rates are actually lower so um, for me it is not an issue just using the TV in standard mode here uh, because most of the time I just use it for reading and surfing the web and using my uh, applications if you are playing uh, computer games uh, that's a different story so if you want the refresh rate to be a bit higher you can actually get to um, most televisions again have this uh, you can turn on something called game mode so uh, game mode basically well compromises the display or 
graphic quality to performance. That means it will refresh faster. So to turn on game mode, uh, I basically go to menu and I get to my system. It, this is the uh, Samsung 32 inch LED TV. Uh, the menu obviously could be different if you have a different brand of TV. So select and if I go to general, you can see like there is a option called game mode. Now if I turn it on, this will well uh, increase the performance, the refresh rate of the television, uh, sacrificing display quality. Now those are the two settings that uh, basically you can turn on to make your uh, home TV work with your computer. So now if I think about it, as far as uh, my experience goes, it is great because now I have a huge screen uh, which is 32 inch which can display full 1080p and um, you know when I use like a uh, very uh, how do you say real estate re uh, intensive programs like a Premiere Pro or something uh, there is just great amount of space to display all the features and functions and besides the screen is so big uh, it helps me to see all the small tiny details as well as compared to my old monitor which uh, hardly I can see anything so um, basically this is it this is how you configure uh, your home television to display or play well with your computer and um, if you don't play like fast action games you may use this as an, um, a saving, uh, well, a cost saving option uh, compared to buying a high performance monitor of the same size. Now, if you buy a 32 inch uh, LCD LED monitor, it's probably going to cost four or five times of this basic uh, television set. All right, and, and I have checked that. So, yeah, something to, to think about. Um, so, yeah, and um, benefited from this video. Thank you and uh, please subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Thanks a lot.